prosperity. And finally, I want to talk about how racial covenants have enabled subsequent mechanisms enforcing racial inequality. So again, this is another choropleth map that I created. Um, this one's using 1940 census records, where the darker shaded areas on the map denote a higher percentage of African Americans. And I've overlaid on top of this subsequent freeway projects. And you'll notice that there's a very close correlation between where freeways are constructed and where African Americans were living during that period. The largest African American district in the city, the Near North neighborhood, was almost completely obliterated by 94 and Highway 394. A similar pattern emerges on the right side of downtown, the east side of downtown, where 35W uh, cuts across what was at the time the second largest black community in the city. Again, similar patterns occur along the Hiawatha Corridor in South Minneapolis and the 35W Corridor in South Minneapolis as well. So while racial covenants have been illegal for decades, the demographic patterns that covenants created, this segregated, these segregated pockets created by racial covenants, have set the stage for, a whole, for all of these other subsequent tools, mechanisms, policies, and practices that reproduce racial discrepancies and racial disparities. These are just some of the preliminary 